All right, let's go work on this mower. All right, here are my uh, diagnostic or my trouble principle. It is got no spark. See what happened in order for a mower to run or a small engine. It's got three things that needs to be there. Every one of them should be there. Spark. Uh, compression and gas so initially I put a gas in his cylinder right here and it didn't crank up it did not start okay but then I look I took out this okay and then I have somebody crank it there's no spark I check all this grounding thing for this coil they're working I mean this is this engages the ground there's a ground wire in here right here right there that will make your sh shut shut down. Whenever you release that lever out there, what it does, it ground this uh, coil, so the spark won't go in here, and it will shut it down. The problem with this, it don't have a spark in the first place. Normally, this coil never breaks. This is the one generating that high voltage for your uh, spark plug, okay, to ignite that fuel inside your cylinder. And normally this thing here, I don't know for an odd reason, they stick because this is magnetized. There's a magnet in here that turns around that generates the uh, that spark. But I could not find my socket. Hold on, there it is. All right. So now what I'm going to do, since this two right here, this this is like a shoe horse stuck up on this. Uh, Flywheel here. Well, there's two magnets in here. One is it fast, but it had to have a clearance. So I'm loosening them up. Loosen them up. You got. Oh my goodness, it's not even the right thing. You gotta have the right uh, socket in there, or else you'll strip it. Let me post it. All right. Now, moving right along, I find a good uh, socket that fits it. When you need to rip, when you remove this uh, kind of screw bolt, you make sure you press hard, so you won't strip the edge of them. They're small, okay? Once you get this loosened out, there you go, it's loose. Now you can move this back and forth right there, okay? And then you can turn this. Where are they? I don't have to, but I don't want to turn them. Let me see if I can turn them. There you go. Where are those two magnets? There's the magnet. Oh. Oh, oh, I should not have turned them. Now we, oh, there you go. Here's the uh, spacer. Normally, it's just one. You see this? That's what I use for spacer. Or what do you call this? Uh, clearance, space, just like one your spark plug. Yeah, so that's enough right there. See, I'm gonna double it up. I'm gonna double it up. There you go. All right. This will solve the problem because I saw there they were intact. But now, when I tighten. This coil, I'll just make sure I just push it back in. This one, push it, push it. There's your space right there. You see how I removed that? Now I see in some gap. Okay, let's see. Let's see if it will turn now. There you go. See, now I don't see any more winding. Very good. I should do it. All I have to do is put it together and see what I've done is good. Normally, I charge around $50 for this one, but he's an old man, so it's free. I'm not going to charge him anything because I did not replace any parts. Well, I did is turn the part, which I can do that with close eyes 
I only I've done so many of these so I know the bolts screws and everything where it goes where and then that so that's it my friend good day bye bye